Good morning, Michael. Well, look, you can see behind me, it's very, very busy. The lines are going quite smoothly, though, at this stage. We are still hearing, though, of many flight delays and cancellations uh, with airlines and airports continuing to struggle with, you know, staff shortages. Also, we've seen weather causing a bit of an issue in recent days as well. So here at Melbourne Airport today, we've got 14 flight cancellations, and that's just before midday. It's a similar story in Sydney and in other cities uh, right across the country as these school holidays slowly draw to a close, but still um, very busy. And we've seen passengers, you know, taking to social passengers, you know, taking to social media um, to report, uh, you know, to complain about what they're experiencing, people being stranded, turning up to the airport to find out that their flight has been cancelled and that they won't be travelling uh, for for another few days. So uh, we just spoke to one young lady who has come off an international flight from the UK, so more than 24 hours with two young children, uh, just to find that her flight to Queensland has been cancelled and potentially maybe waiting another day. Take a listen to what she had to say. About half an hour ago, just as we got here, yeah. We had no prior knowledge that our flight had been cancelled. Hopefully can get another flight this afternoon, if not tomorrow morning. So we're just waiting and we'll see. <laughs> we are, yes. We've been about 25 hours so far and we've still got a long way to go. <laughs> so a bit of frustration for some travellers, but it must be said as well that uh, airport staff are, are doing what they can. I had a gentleman just come up to me a few minutes ago and uh, saying, I hope you're you know, talking about how hard people are working to make sure that things do run smoothly, but uh, we do know that there are more than 80,000 people coming through this airport today, more than 2 million over this school holiday period, and uh, we can see that the airport staff and airline staff are really doing all that they can. Very important point to make, Zali. Thank you so much. Uh, let's not forget uh, lots of uh, airport workers either p checking passengers in, working on the planes, baggage handlers, uh, airport staff more generally are doing a lot as their workforces have been thinned out, mm. Lisa. Yeah, but it's we a have, pretty impossible situation. We are seeing that steady stream of cancellations of flights. Look, Alan Joyce did warn that that was what was going to be the approach taken over a couple of months to try and get things back on track. Uh, they were looking at fuel prices as well as a reason to try and condense their schedules. Would love to hear your experiences. It's week if you want to give a shout out to staff who've been helping you do that as well uh email and facebook there on screen join the conversation we'll get to your comments a little later